one. Hey, welcome back to the Missouri Sports Network, MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. Presented by Central Bank of the Ozarks, Grant Baker Shelter Insurance Insurance Agent in Aurora, Missouri, Laborers Local 663, the Bank of Billings, Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks, and Great Southern Bank. And as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us to take that three seconds and buckle up three seconds that could save your life. Be safe, be smart, and be here tomorrow. Going to go to Fairgrove and check in with head coach Bill Voris. And coach, what's it like to be 10 and 0 at this time? I mean, we feel really lucky. We've had some injuries, some kids out. We play the first part of our first several weeks of our schedule were really tough. And so it's just, I mean, our kids have kept grinding. It's, we got a huge senior class. So I'm, I'm really happy for those kids. Yeah, you go back to that, those first three games, you got Mountain Grove, Mountain View Liberty, uh, and then a very good Skyline team uh, who's going to probably make a little run here as well. Yeah, that's, we knew at the beginning of the year was the first three games especially were going to be really telling and tough. And, you know, we need to, we, we need to play a tougher schedule to, to hopefully prepare us for later in this time of year. So it was, it was nice to come out, uh, come out of that. I mean, it could have gone either way. Those are three really good teams. You got uh, Clever. Last week, 48 nothing. come out of that game. You know, now you've gone going back to, well, my old stomping grounds, and to an extent, uh, your old stomping grounds as, as the Mountaineers will make their way up to <clears throat> Paragrove. What do you know about Mount Vernon? Yeah, I mean, I'm when I saw the districts came out that, that first week of the season, I thought, man, I really hope we get a chance to play these guys. And, and now I may not hope. That, I mean, they, they might be the most dangerous one-and-nine team in the entire state. Like, it's scary. They play physical football all year long. They're really young. So, and then at this point of the year, being young doesn't really matter. Like those kids have got plenty of experience. There's lots of guys over there that I coached with and got to coach for. So I, I'm, I'm really excited. I was talking to Chris Johnston, their DC. I think he said this might be the first time Fairgrove has ever played Mount Vernon ever. So. Yeah, I can imagine that. I, I would imagine that's true. And, you know, Chris Johnson grew up in my backyard. Uh, you know, he was several years younger than me, kind of between my little brother and I, but, uh, you know, just lots of folks there. And I know you spent some time, you know, on that staff. I mean, Joy Mayberry is still around. I can't believe Coach Cox is still around. But, yeah. uh, you know, they do a tremendous job over there. And, and playing that big eight schedule, uh, it probably helps them out. You know, they come this time of year. So, uh, definitely a team you got to pay attention to come Friday night. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I'm trying to tell our kids that you, know, you can't look at their record. Their coaches are some of the best coaches we're going to have a chance to go against. They play a really tough schedule. You know, if, if they played our schedule, they'd have several wins. You know, that's not a not a reflection on their coaching staff and their their kids. They just play a really tough schedule. And that's good. We need to have a football game. We haven't we've had some some programs that have been down the last three weeks. And so we need to play a competitive football game this Friday. As you as you look at this going into it, what are a couple, you know, some of the stats that are going to dictate the outcome at, you know, the final score, whether it be turnovers, um, time possession, uh, you know, yards on the ground. What are some things looking at their game film and knowing your own Eagles team? What are some things that you're going to have to win? Yes. I mean, they, uh, <clears throat> for us all year, it's been about not turning it over. I mean, our quarterback has 30 touchdowns on the year and only two picks. And we have, he has, 13 rushing touchdowns and one fumble. Like we've taken, we've done a really good job of, of taking care of the football. And so hopefully, that, I mean, that's what's going to have to be. If we take care of the football, we'll, we'll give ourselves a chance. If we turn it over and give them extra opportunities, it, it could be a long night. And same thing goes on the other side. Like try, they've got, I know that uh, Chris's kid is probably going to start a quarterback for him this week. He's a freshman. We get him turned over a little bit. Uh, they've got a freshman running back who's all conference, who's really, really good. We can turn those kids over a little bit. You know, we might be able to take hold of it early, but if not, it's going to be a dogfight. What uh, What are you guys working on between now and Friday night? Well, this interview is taking place here, and once again, we're visiting with Bill Voris, the head football coach at at Fair Grove. What are you doing between now and then to kind of get ready? Well, the last three teams we faced have been a you know a different style of offense with double tight, double wing, option, power football, and and Mount Vernon has a few power sets, but they're going to be like us. They're going to be shotgun four and five wide. So just kind of flipping the script a little bit, getting back into that. It'll be good for us uh, practice wise, because we'll be able to simulate it a whole lot better than we have the last couple of weeks. And so just getting back into that mindset of, of having to have past responsibility and, and taking care of all that. As you, as you look at your team right now, you guys, are you relatively healthy uh, going into this, going into this game? I know it's week 11, so it's going to be bumps and bruises just from playing the game of football. But outside of that, are you healthy? 
yeah, I mean, we're, we're relatively healthy. We're still missing a few kids that we probably won't have this Friday either, but uh, hopefully we can get them back. You know, if we're able to win, hopefully we can get them back the next Friday. That's kind of the goal. So, uh, but like everybody, like you said, everybody's dinged up right now, but for the most part, yeah, we're pretty healthy. Well, outstanding. Well, Coach Forrest, as always, I really appreciate you being generous with your time here and uh, uh, best of luck. And, and I can say I'm a Mountaineer. You know, you know, I grew up that way, but hey, best of luck. I just want to see, you know, a good game, but uh, you guys are the two seed and uh, this opportunity here for you guys to make a run. run. So I hope uh, I wish you the best. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, you bet. You're listening to the Missouri Sports Network here at MissouriSportsNetwork.com where everyone has a home field advantage. Keep it right here. MSN.